Hey guys, welcome to Share the Truth. I am so excited today. I am going to be reacting to a very requested album, Phoebe Bridger's Punisher. I've gotten so many requests to do this. You guys tell me the lyrics are gonna be amazing and I just had a really good feeling about it. So I've been kind of holding it off until like a little dessert. Like, I don't know, it's been a really stressful week and I've just been like, I wanna listen to this album at the end of the week when I can have a drink and just chill and listen to this with you guys. So grab a drink, let's go ahead and listen to this album. And I've heard that it's gonna be very lyrically deep and that it's kind of giving you folklore vibes. I hope I get Magdalene vibes. So let's go ahead and listen, I'm excited. This is DVD Menu. This is taking me into a completely different world. Okay, I'm gonna guess that's an intro track, so we're just gonna go to the next one, because I'm, I'm into it, I'm in it. Oh, this is gonna, I already know. I'm gonna like this album. <laughs> This is really beautiful. I can already, I already know this is gonna be my album, dude. I know it. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Everything about the production so far is crisp, perfect. I don't know what she's exactly, it's a story, she's telling this journey. Um, obviously it's, it's, it's a flash into maybe a younger time in her life, um, because she's talking about when she was 17, she's talking about the town where she lived. It's probably going to be something kind of a reflective type of piece. Um, but I just, I feel so connected to it already because of the way that it's produced and the way her voice is and the harmonies. I just think it's gorgeous. I, I just remembered earlier she was talking about the notches on the door so she's talking about her growing up in this town and now she says I don't know how I got taller she's thinking about her life and how fast it's gone um, away from probably this person and I just feel like I'm already I don't know why I'm getting emotional today I I don't know I don't know okay why I'm feeling like emotional listening to this I don't know what it's about specifically but it is making me feel a lot of things um I'm just sensitive I don't know <laughs> but this I just knew the style of this production is what's gonna make me feel I don't know why I just knew and it's definitely happening um she talks about the doctor put her hands over my liver she told me my resentment's getting smaller no I'm not afraid of hard work I'm wondering if she's referencing this process of getting over this person when she talks about that, like her resentment and the fact that this relationship 
um, has not happened. I don't know that that is literal. Um, they are, you know, homeopathic doctors that could have actually said that about her, but I'm get I'm getting the feel that this is kind of um, maybe some kind of metaphor or uh, for what she's gone through to move past these memories that she has of this relationship, um, if it is about a romantic relationship. Um, let's go ahead to the next song. That was absolutely gorgeous. So I feel like I'm in a good, I'm in the good, a good area today. Let me go to Kyoto. That's in, I believe, Japan, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Kyoto. This is reminding me of Sue Fan Stevens, Illinois. It's giving me that kind of feeling. I love that. Wow. Wait. Okay. So she mentioned that somebody sent her a letter regarding going going to get sober so i feel like there's some kind of hostile relationship going on um i don't know who this person is it could be it could be herself it could be a friend it could be a, a romantic partner but they have an issue with drugs and they're falling behind on completing a lot of tasks that's what i'm getting so far and that it seems like it's going to be one of those like sad happy type of songs Is she talking about doing drugs like she did drugs to mimic an experience to kind of relate to the person that she's referencing in the song maybe it was her father I don't know that's what I'm getting I don't know if I'm right I'm feeling it though I'm feeling it is so interesting I just that last line where she goes through your eyes I wanted to see the world through your eyes until it happened I am going to guess that she has had someone close to her that was doing drugs and it hurt her so bad that she wanted to experience that herself almost in kind of a toxic way of trying to get some kind of explanation for why they weren't present in her life i'm going to see what this is about interesting it's talking about her father okay so the song is called kyoto because she traveled to to kyoto to to escape and it didn't really work for her but i was right i was getting the feel that it was about her, about her father and i was totally right about that because it's like I I actually worked in treatment. I worked in an addiction treatment center. And a lot of times, one of the things I was reading as I was a blogger at this treatment center is that people sometimes do drugs because their, their parents hurt them so bad that they want to understand why. And so they take drugs in order to just understand, get, gain a sense of understanding. And through that process, often addiction can occur. I'm going to do a little bit of research and see if she did end up having you know issues with addiction and that would be obviously very unfortunate but that song it's very cool it's up tempo but it has a deeper feeling for me i really like it okay here is the title track 
Punisher. Wow, that is a gorgeous line. A copycat killer with a chemical cut. Either I'm careless or I want to get caught. Huh. It just seems like she's having this internal battle between her emotions. It's like whether or not I want to be vulnerable or she switches from being vulnerable to cold and, and trying to hide these feelings that she's feeling. And I'm, I'm really feeling like the battle that she's expressing in this song. Huh. Oh, I as a as a very sensitive person, I just feel pain when I hear music and I just feel the pain in her voice and it's just it's gorgeous. I just love when people are raw and just put it all out there. And that's what I'm hearing in this song. I'm wondering if this is also about her father, just because a lot of the emotions she's describing is kind of that internal battle. Maybe she hadn't met her father, I'm guessing. I'm gonna have to do some background research on the song because it's like she wants to form some kind of relationship with someone that she hadn't had before. Um, I'm curious, I'm very curious about this. Um, in the beginning, when the speed kicks in, Huh, is this also about drugs? Maybe she's literally talking about speed? Um, the house where you lived with Snow White. I feel like she's, she's talking about her childhood here. She's having some kind of reflective moment. Um, and she's also having an internal battle, I feel like possibly with her father, also possibly related to drugs. I really wanna know I'm gonna look up what the song is about, but it's really beautiful. I feel like every song in this has been really beautiful. It's they're they're not like hooky kind of songs, but they take you through a journey, an emotional journey that I really appreciate. Um, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Cause I might want to listen to this again once I know what they're about. Cause I feel like I feel like I'm gonna have a more emotional experience if once I know what these songs are about. But I do also wanna give my first interpretation, my first reaction to the songs. Okay, Halloween. Oof, this is pretty. I just started, I'm like, all right, we're here. When you've been drinking, huh? I'm very curious. Hmm. This is really beautiful. Relaxing. 
I feel like there's a lot of longing in this song. It's it's like she's using this Halloween idea I, idea to maybe have some kind of healthy relationship of some sort, or she's longing for. Yeah, I feel like she's longing for some kind of healthy relationship and she's like, at least, at least on Halloween, maybe we can just play pretend. You know, maybe we can put a costume on and hide the, the, the reality that's in front of us. I, I just want to put a mask on and pretend like none of this is, is real. And I just, I relate to that a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of desperation here. I feel like it's just clinging on, it's clinging on to that last moment between someone. It's like, we're, it's Halloween. Let's just pretend for one more day. You know, I'm getting that kind of feel from it. It's this desperation that she's expressing through the song. She's very vulnerable in this song. Um, it's this, I'll do anything just to save, just to cling on to the scraps that we have. You know, and I, I also have a poem that talks about this as well, about just um, not caring that it's going to end because you're so focused on savoring every single moment that you're almost like, I'll do whatever because I just want to whatever I need to do to not lose you right now. You know, it's this moment and she really definitely captures that vulnerability in this song. Chinese satellite. Mm. It's an interesting name. like she doesn't use too many words she's very intentional with the way that she writes it's it's it, it feels like she cleans it she makes sure that everything that she writes has clear intention and it's building this specific story that she has in mind and she's taking you somewhere that's what I'm getting like I feel like my brain constantly just is wondering what is going to happen next why would somebody do this on purpose is a question that a lot of people ask that go through any kind of addictive self-harm type of behavior is like, why am I doing this to myself? And that is a question that even I ask myself when it comes to bad, you know, non-serving behaviors. <clears throat> Drowning out the morning birds. It's about numbness. There's a numbness here. Um, with the same three songs over and over, playing the same songs over and over again. It's kind of just numbing out your reality. And um, I'm just curious to know where it goes next. Come on, drums.
this is about what I think is about? I think it's about, oh my gosh, did, did her boyfriend die? Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. But you know I'd stand on the corner embarrassed with a picket sign if it meant I would see you when I die. Sometimes when I can't sleep, it's just a matter of time before I'm hearing things. Sore, I could feel you through the walls, but that's impossible. I want to believe that if I go outside, I'll see a tractor beam coming to take me where I'm from. I want to go home. Wow, this is, I'm getting the feel that this is about her losing someone and, and feeling like she doesn't even want to be on in the world anymore. Um, that's what I'm getting. I'm going to look up what it means as well. She's not very direct in her music. You can feel the pain. I almost feel like this is the stuff that she's mentioning in these songs are very difficult for her to talk about. So she writes them as vulnerable as she's capable of without giving out every single detail. And I almost feel like that can almost be more emotional because you can feel the, the hesitation and the transparency and the struggle to have that transparency. And that's what I'm feeling when I hear these songs. It's like, she's not directly saying everything, but you can interpret it, what she's trying to say. And I just, so, y'all gonna kill me today. I wasn't trying for this. I already knew. I already knew, dude. I knew. I knew. My feet can't touch the bottom. You asked, you asked to walk me home, but I had to carry you. And you pushed me in and now my feet can't touch the bottom of you. It's like they drew her in, but she's not able to fully receive this person. Like they're not able to open up to her. I feel like that's what she means by that. It's like there's this wall that this person has. Um, let's see. I was just thinking about that line. Oh my gosh, where she goes. You couldn't have stuck your tongue down the throat of somebody who loves you more. Oh, girl, 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 trying to kill me today. Oh man. Yep. I get it. I get it. Unrequited love is the most painful thing. I hate it. It's horrible. That is because it's like somebody can be reckless with giving you a part of themselves, not realizing that 
it's like once you go down that road and you feel that way about someone like you can't turn it off and you almost become resentful because they made you feel that way about them and it's hard to move forward from that <clears throat> I'm just processing. <laughs> I'm just processing, dude. I'm too emotional. Like, I'm just, I'm highly sensitive. So, I don't know. Sometimes you, you listen to a song and you have to kind of recover from it. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> she is hitting on her father in the earlier songs I noticed but I don't think that that is the focus of this album anymore I think the focus is on this relationship and this person is really struggling with their addiction and she's madly in love with them she almost wished it didn't happen you know and she knows that this isn't going to end well and she's grappling with those emotions and the part where she goes you're sick and you're married let me go back to that line you are sick and you're married and you might be dying but you're holding me like water in your hands and when you saw the dead little bird you started crying wow but you know the killer doesn't understand she mentioned the dead little bird earlier didn't she yep Yep, yep, that was back when she says, so I'll wait for the next time you want me like a dog with a bird at your door. Huh. Wow. I, but you're holding me like water in your hand. He isn't holding her very much. You know what I mean? If you think about water in your hand, what happens to water when it's in your hand? It slips out of your hands. So this person that she's with isn't, isn't securely holding her she doesn't feel safe with this person but she's so in love with them that it's just killing her inside and the vulnerability of this song the fact that they're married too girl you got yourself in some mess you're sick and you're married and you might be dying but you're holding me like water in your hands and when you saw the dead little bird, you started crying. But you know the killer doesn't understand. I just, the line that's getting me, and I, I this is, <laughs> I've literally been staring at this song for a couple minutes now. You couldn't have stuck your tongue down the, the throat of somebody who loves you more. You know, it's, it's she's capturing the carelessness of this individual when they approached her. It's like, it's not like he was kissing her softly. She was just somebody to stick their tongue down. But she was the person that would fall madly in love with them. 
and it's just recognizing the contrast between these two people in this relationship that really gets me that really gets me and so i'll wait for the next time you want me like a dog with a bird at your door i can't i can't i can't i cannot i cannot the fact that the next song is called Savior Complex, I don't even have to, I don't even have to know because this is going to be talking about the same thing as just wanting this person to change and wanting to be able to save this person. And that's what Savior Complex is all about. So, okay, I think I'm recovered. I think I'm recovered from the last song. That last song, the last song took me out. Why is there always one song that takes me out? Okay. Hmm, I'm gonna need more time with that one. I do think that she is discussing, you know, the fact that she has a savior complex and that she relates to this person. That's what I was getting when I was listening to the lyrics is the fact that because she also has her own demons, that's why she's attracted to this person. And that's why she has this savior complex because she sees herself in this person because they both share similarities of some sort. You know, they both have skeletons in their closet. That's what you mentioned with the skeletons. Yeah, I just, I get the feel that it's just talking about this dynamic between the two of them. I feel like a lot of times in these relationships where the person isn't really in the most healthiest state, you just want to know what made them that way. You want to have an understanding. And that's what I'm hearing in the song. It, it's really beautifully written. Um, I'm getting kind of a story storytelling um, she uses a lot of imagery. I love the beginning where she said, smoking in the car windows up, crocodile tears, run the top, run the tap till it's clear. Drift off on the floor, I drag you to the shore, sweating through the sheets. You're gonna drown in your sleep for sure. I wonder, that also seems like a drug reference to me. Sweating through the sheets. She's taking care of this person possibly through um, withdrawals or through the process of doing drugs. Um, that sounds like withdrawals when you're sweating through sheets. I actually, this album is enjoyable for me. I really enjoy it. It's a story album, I, a cup of tea, you know? I see you. I like the contrast of that. She's saying like, I've been playing dead my whole life. It's like she hasn't really felt alive in her life. And you can see through the song, we're gonna get a shift of how she feels about this person. Is is they make them feel she they make her feel the opposite of how she's always felt. And that's what love can do. It can bring out something that you just don't feel normally, you know? And I feel like we're starting to hear the music speed up in pace, which shows me that's gonna really capture her feelings for this person. So let me see if I'm gonna get that. So now we're gonna get into this person's flaws. If you're in work of art, I'm standing too close. That's a really beautiful way of seeing, saying like, I see 
what you're made of. I, maybe I see your flaws. Maybe I see um, what's, what's behind what appears to be beautiful from afar. You know, that's a beautiful, um, person it's a personification. Yeah, she personifies him into an artwork and uses that as a metaphor to describe the fact that she can she can see how this was created. She can see how this person became who they are. If you think of a piece of art, looking at it closely, you can start to see how this this piece of art came to be. And then she brings up and then she brings up this person's mom, which is kind of drawing back into what I just said. So really cool. Just chronicling the, the shifts that's happened in this relationship. Hmm. I used to light you up. Now I can't even get you to play the drums. Because I don't know what I want until I fuck it up. Yeah, sometimes you just don't know what you got until you mess it up and you, you realize you have feelings for someone. So I really... That's interesting. She said, let the dystopian morning light pour in. I feel like she's talking about the fact like I'll climb through the window again. Like she'll, she'll return back to where she came from again. But right now it feels good not to stand. Right now it feels good to be falling for this person again. And Yeah, because she talks about laying down on the lawn. I'm tired of trying to get in the house. So yeah, she's referencing that in the end when she says, I'll climb through the window again. Like, I'll come back home. Because in the beginning, she references... Hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Laying down on the lawn, I'm tired of trying to get in the house. So when she's talking about getting into the house, she might be talking about that in the end as well. Like, I'll climb through the window again. Like, she had to sneak out of her house because she's no, she knows she's not supposed to be doing this. I'll climb through the window again, meaning she'll get she'll go back home she'll go back home to her norm normality that she's familiar with but right now it feels good not to stand i see you and on the screen it's i see you so she's referencing um like the emergency room which is really interesting there's a lot of meaning in these songs oh my gosh what do y'all think y'all gotta tell me Okay, next we have Graceland 2. healing here i feel like we're gonna get some healing after what we just went through girl i hope so this is beautiful no longer a danger to herself or others she made up her mind and laced up her shoes yep after you go through this journey finally make that decision to stop making excuses and, and get your life together you know it's not easy that's the thing, like, it's a process. You have to go through that journey to get here. And I feel like that's why she put this towards the end of the album to show the journey that she went through. Mm, 
You remember in the last song how she talked about home being kind of this numb, dark place in her mind? She can go home, but she's not going to. So she's creating a different world for herself. Let's see if I'm right. I get it that's why it's called Graceland too because she's referencing Elvis and his music I'm sure she's making an Elvis song reference but I'm not too familiar with his music but I know Graceland is obviously El Elvis um so she's talking about this is a new healing for her this is a completely different shift from the other songs she's now making the decision to just start a new life, not go home because home for her is a dark place. And she's now making this decision to start a new life. And she wants to believe in more for herself. And that is beautiful. So we spent what was left of our serotonin to chew on our cheeks and stare at the moon. She's possibly referencing the last time that she did drugs. Hmm, yep, healing. There's a shift. She used to want to do everything for this person and now she's realizing, no, I'll do whatever I want. That's what I'm getting that she'll do whatever she wants. It's the shift from wanting to do everything for this person to finally putting yourself first. Beautiful. This whole album is just a journey. It's a journey, it's a journey. Okay. I know the end. Okay, let's put that up. This song is giving me that folklore vibe that you guys were mentioning. Makes another reference to the bird thing. It's gonna be, a, it's a theme throughout this is the change in dynamic. And she uses this one specific moment and references it to show how this, this, the changes that are happening between these moments in time. And that is something that you can definitely do in your writing as well um, to keep bringing back these little tiny things that just symbolize the message that you're trying to send. And she really did that here.
I feel like that line where she says, but I'm not gonna go down with my hometown in a tornado is her making the decision to face her battles. Mm. Did you see how there was a shift? This is her healing again. This is her, this is a, the second part to the, after the grace and these two songs are her healing process is what I'm getting. She's talking about her her what I'm getting is she's talking about her road trip you remember in the last song how she's talking about how she's on the road going to her next destination away from home she's creating a new life for herself so I feel like right now she's making this very descriptive uh journey in and in, in pointing out every single thing but she does it in a very unique way slot machines fear of God so she's talking about all the churches and religious messages that you see when you're driving down the highway um who else let the ultraviolet cover me up let the sun you know she's she's it's really cool how she's writing this went looking for a creation myth ended up with a pair of crap cracked lips so she kind of went looking for some higher power. And that's a cool way of saying that, went looking for a creation myth, you know? Yep. Yeah, go girl, heal girl, start a new life. Leave all that behind you. Go on a road trip and create a new life. Oh, I love this journey. This is it for me. Ooh, a haunted house with a picket fence to float around and ghost my friends. Very clever. I love that. Oh my gosh. She's creating such intense imagery. Like I just, my brain is seeing her go down these roads into these different states and she's kind of describing what she's seeing all along the way. Anyone that's ever done a road trip, you know, in, in the US knows that there is that billboard that says the end is near. And she uses that as a sign for her in her life that yes, the end is near. Like the end of all of this turmoil that she chronicled in this album is at a close. And this is just, this is gorgeous. I love this. Mm. The horns, everyone's, yes. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is almost like the end of a musical. Very theatrical. All the pain just coming out of her. Oh, yes. It's the chaos of it all. Because it's like, you never really, I love that, I love that production choice because it's like, you're never, it's not perfect. You know what I mean? There's still pain, there's, there's a release and there's an acknowledgement of 
all this chaos that's just leaving but also what you, the journey ahead because we don't know what it's going to be and that's what i get when i hear the production i just my brain is going like imaginary crazy i love it That was interesting at the end. Um, yep, 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 yep. That was really beautiful. I definitely want to do more research onto this album. I definitely want to digest it more. Overall, I really liked it. It was really beautiful. Um, I feel like it's the kind of album I would have to listen to on a specific day. It's the kind of album that I feel like I just had an experience right now. Like I really, really liked it. I loved it as a writer. Um, I just feel like it was a healing album for her. I feel like she got a lot off her chest. It was extremely vulnerable. And I'm gonna have to digest this more. I'm really curious to know the full background on this album. I'm definitely going to dive in to her story. She is definitely someone I'm looking out for. I really enjoyed this. I feel like I feel like I still need more time with it, but in the most beautiful way. Like I feel like she really hit on so many subjects on this album and I feel like the more I listen to it, the more it's going to personally connect with me. So thank you guys so much for showing me this. This is a piece of art as well. Um, so yeah, I'm interested. I might need to look at the videos as well. I might need to look at those as well. So anyway, if you like this video, um, definitely give a subscribe, leave a comment, and um, I'll see you with the next one. Bye!